Hello and welcome to MathAndSciencePower.com. If you like what you see today, please be sure to subscribe, rate, comment, and share. This video will cover adding fractions. There are three steps to adding fractions. First, determine the common denominator. Second, multiply each fraction by a factor that gives the common denominator. And third, add and then reduce if possible. We'll use 1 fourth plus 2 thirds as an example. Right away, I know that I cannot add these fractions because the denominators are not the same. You must always make the denominators the same before you can add any fractions. So, to determine the common denominator, we'll start by listing some multiples of each denominator. 4 and 3 are the denominators in this example. So we'll count by 4 to list the multiples of 4. And we'll count by 3 to list the multiples of 3. Then, we need to compare our list to see which multiples are in common. 12 is common, and 24 is common, but we're interested in 12 because 12 is the least common multiple. So 12 will be the common denominator, and now it's time to multiply each fraction, the top and the bottom, by a factor that gives the common denominator. So to get 12 on the bottom, we need to multiply 4 by 3, so we'll also need to multiply the numerator 1 by 3. That gives us 3 over 12. To get 12 on the bottom of the next fraction, we need to multiply 4 by 3. And so we'll need to multiply 4 by the numerator as well. And that gives us 8 over 12. Now it's time to add and reduce if possible. When adding fractions, the denominator stays the same. So we know that 12 will be the denominator in our answer. We just need to worry about adding the numerators. So 3 plus 8 is 11. 11 twelfths is our answer. And it cannot be reduced, so this will be our final answer. Thank you for watching.